90 plus 35, that's 105 math. Alright, I was debating whether or not to show you guys my, my, my hair at the moment. This is bed head. Um, you know what, I'll just show it anyway, just because I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like after. The, the golden boy, the golden standard of hair. No. <laughs> Yeah, before you even say it. Alright, shut up. Alright, um... Yep. Alright, a lot better. There we go. Just let it cook. It's just kind of, It's a little wonky, but hey, you know what? It's better than what we had earlier, so... Well, welcome to the vlog, boys. Just another day of, uh, it's a reset day, so... Come along for the ride. Come along with me. To the valley. What song is that? Or what cartoon is that from? Adventure to... It's, I, I thought it was Adventure Time. That's definitely not the intro to Adventure Time. It's the it's the Jake the dog and Finn the human. The fun will never end. Adventure Time. Vitamins, creatine. We're set to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oil change done now. So, uh, fun fact, I guess, fun news. Uh, not really, but the bottom of this car, to say the least, the bottom of this car, like, like, the, you know, the, the underside of this car is, is so rusted, and, it, and it's bad. And to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. The crazy thing was when I, when we were changing the wheel bearing to this, uh, I think I mentioned it briefly how it was so rusted, and, uh, we had to use, like, po some power tools to just pry off the wheel, the old wheel bearings. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's pretty rough, ladies and gentlemen, so, so we were looking to get this thing aligned, but we would have to do a lot of changes and all that kind of stuff. It'd be a whole mess, so. We just decided to skip the alignment today, and it's it's just, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, boys, we're back. Yeah, buddy. On our way to the gym, ladies and gentlemen. It is actually 5.30, so you know what? Going to the gym a little bit early. I'm probably gonna stay there for a little bit, though, since, you know, I have some time to kill. It don't hurt to be in the gym a little extra longer. You know what I'm saying? Today's leg day. Probably, possibly gonna be doing some deadlifts. Possibly, yeah, I, might, I might PR. We're gonna be taking care of business, is, 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 is what matters. It will be a good time. It will be a good time. What a workout that was, ladies and gentlemen. Leg day today, as I've mentioned, and uh, what time did I, I think I got to the gym. I think I got here at like 5.30. It's 8.30. <laughs> Hustle season, grind time, however you want to call it. I got my sweatpants on, so it's hard to really, you know, can't really take that off, but like, you know, we're, we're, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking. I pretty much almost maxed out on everything. The only one that I didn't really come as close to PR is a uh, squat because I didn't have anyone to spot me. Huge W in the chat. Feeling great. Um, well, feeling exhausted, but this could only mean one thing, ladies and gentlemen. Food. Yes. Man, let me reiterate. I am hungry. It took me a while to realize that like I, I can actually lift more than I thought, I guess. I don't know what it is, but I underestimated myself, I guess. And I guess I kind of led to less gains, I guess, because, you know, I'm not lifting as much. But I think we're at a phase now where, um, like, I'm actually, like, lifting more. What are the numbers, you ask? Let's go through the numbers here, okay? None of these are maxes, because I could rep all of them, but like I said, I didn't want to go for a max just because I had no assistance, I guess. You know what? I missed, uh, I, I, I wasn't there for that long, and I could put, and, uh, and I missed, I missed hack squat, but either way, Squat, I repped five, 45 pound bar, two plates on each side, and then a 35. So whatever the math on that is. So each side, 45, 45, that's 90. 90 plus 35, that's 105. Math, 125. So 125 times two, that's 250. 250 plus 45, that's, uh, that's 295. So I should have just put a 2.5 on each side and just gone to 300. Damn, I didn't do the math correctly, I guess. Leg press, I did 500 on leg press. I could have done deadlifts, but you know, everyone was in the squat rack at the time that I wanted to do the, the deadlifts. I don't deadlift, by the way. That's a, that's a little side note. Uh, I don't deadlift. The only time that I ever deadlifted, when I went upstairs of my high school and they had a gym up there, right? I had jeans on, I had flip-flops on, or I had, uh, I had Burks on. <laughs> I decided to just deadlift whatever. <laughs> whatever. I think that was 215. Or 225, I think. It was two plates on each side. Alright, while my tank's getting filled. Um, you know what's staring at me right now? Menacingly? I'm not gonna comply to it, but... Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. There he is. <laughs> McDonald's. This is not gonna cut to me at the McDonald's drive-thru, right? I'm serious this time, I'm serious. I got Applebee's at home and I'll, you know, then the parents also made some burgers, so... I'm serious. 
All right, he's gonna cut straight. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We already talked about uh, leg press. Yep, 500 pounds. I rep that for, how many How many reps did I? I did seven reps before I realized that, hey, I probably shouldn't keep going. Hip thrusts, I did a decent amount on hip thrusts. I repped it for, did I, I think I did six. I think I did six, if I'm correct. I don't think the machine itself has any like weight. I don't know if it weighs 45 pounds or something. I don't know, but let's just say that the machine doesn't weigh anything. So let's just count the plates that I put on there. That's eight plates, four plates, uh, each side, whatever that is. Eight times 45, 360. 360 pounds for hip thrusts, which isn't too bad. So whatever the calculation is, I'm sure I could calculate my max according to how much I lifted today, but I, I don't know, I don't really care to. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is a five foot eight frame. That's 160 pounds. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I don't have the strongest legs, but it's not too shabby, all right? It's nothing to scoff at, I guess. What's going on bros and brodettes? This next part of the video was supposed to be me talking about, like I guess confessing my insecurities, but um, what was supposed to be spoken in English turned into Japanese because I didn't know how to talk, I guess. Um, I guess uh, let me right my wrong this time and talk about it properly, right? Um, what I did is I mentioned three things. I mentioned three insecurities that I've you know dealt with in the past and I felt like it was appropriate to talk about it now because I'm at a point where I don't really feel as bad about it anymore or I don't really I'm at a I'm at like 99% good about it right before I get into it yes peanut butter burger I understand it slaps please try it okay uh, Sickies Sickies has this like uh, peanut butter burger with <clears throat> with jalapenos and it, it's just delicious see even I burped about it um, <clears throat> Three things. Let's just, I mean, let's just go through it, right? One, height. Height is something that I've uh, kind of been, you know, up and down about, uh, especially like back in the day. Uh, I'd say even around like five years ago, whatever. I felt as though I was inferior to everyone because, uh, you know, even though I was taller than most girls, I was shorter than most guys. And that kind of messed with me a little bit, because it's like, damn, damn, am I a loser? Am I, am I, am I, does no one like me? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Um, if you are one of those short kings, uh, if you're, because I'm, I'm at a staggering height of five foot eight. If you're one of those short kings, just know that it really doesn't matter. Um, let's, let's look at it in gaming terms. You know, your height might not be at the max stat, but if you max out all your other stats, you'll look back after a while being like, oh man, you know, I, the height, this really doesn't matter, I guess. If I got all these other, like, avenues, accomplishments, whatever, at the end of the day, height really doesn't matter that much. As long as you really, as long as you're trying, I mean, that's kind of the theme about these three things, I guess. As long as you're trying and you're, you know, you're pushing forward, um, you know, you'll realize that after a while, height doesn't matter. Because I'm at a point now where, yes, I'm not the tallest. However, I got, well, sorry, I'm sniffing. Um, you know, I have a decent physique. I have all these other things going for me. And, uh... And where does height come in? It doesn't matter, all right? It just doesn't matter. Sorry, it's turning a little bit into Japanese here, but yeah, you kind of get the point, right? Um, it, it's really, it really just comes down to, like, not caring, right? It's a, it's a hard mental, like, uh, wait. It's a hard mental wall to get over because, you know, uh, not caring, that's, that's such like a blanket statement that, like, it's hard, right? But it really, that's really it. Um, if you just stop caring, if you just max out all your other stats, the height won't matter at the end of the day. All right, second one, uh, social anxiety. Now this is kind of, 
well, how do you, it kind of contradicts what I said months ago with the whole uh, YouTube changed my life situation. I made a video a while ago talking about how YouTube changed my life and and how I've never really dealt with, you know, uh, I've never really had struggles with talking to people. But in reality, um, that, you know, it, it was putting on a front. I knew how to put on a front, right? And back in the day when I used to talk to people, like, you know, of course I'd have, you know, I'd have struggles. I'd, I'd be a little bit, you know, I'd be a little bit stuttery. But um, over time, I started getting better. I started getting better at talking to people, but there was still that mental block in my head that's like, you know, oh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make the wrong, mis I don't want to say the wrong thing, I don't want to, all that kind of stuff. And I'm at a point now, I, I mean, you could probably guess by the videos that I've made, I'm at a point now where I really, it, 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 it's pretty much gone, right? My social anxiety is pretty much gone. Of course, there's still that, you know, there, there, there's a limit, right? There's a limit, but I'm sure everyone has a limit. But for 95% of the time, I'm good, right? And how did I get to that point for those of you that are um, struggling with that and, you know, um, you know, talking to people, just not even, like, if you don't even know how to put on a front, I, I got you. It, this is another, this is another blanket statement. It really, it really, I mean, this is the only point that I could give. Just go out there, man. Just just go out there and just start talking to people. Um, there's no better way to get over something than to just do it, right? Um, now, that could be taken out of context. Stop that. Don't take it out of context. But in this scenario, just go out there and talk to people, man. It, what's the worst that could happen? Have you seen that clip of, like... Um, there was like a, you know, if, if you make this like minimal mistake, like you failed at a test or something, like you failed at a quiz, someone's like complaining about it, but then uh, the next clip is like, it, but at the end of the day, does it really matter? And it starts zooming out, like into the, yeah, out of like the planet, out of Earth, I guess. That, that That's a good example, right? Um, let's say you make the wrong mistake. You say something awkward, you say something stupid. Who cares? Who cares? Those guys are gonna find you weird? Who cares, bro? There's billions of other people in the world. I'm just saying, just go out there and, you know, just be yourself. Of course, don't be a ultra weirdo, you know, but if you're generally trying to just, you know, talk to people, try to engage and trying to have a decent conversation, that's all that matters. And if you make a mistake, who cares? No one's gonna, no one's gonna, you know, remember in the next, no one's gonna remember in five minutes anyway. We all have such ADHD minds at nowadays, so just go out there and start trying, man. It really, it, that's really what matters. And if people find you weird, who cares? Who cares? Don't change for them, change for you. Right. Now, <laughs> my bad. I, I don't know why I'm still sniffing. I need to get, I need to get some cough drops or something. But... The last thing, this is like the biggest one, is uh, you guys, you can see it on the thumbnail, I was looking in the mirror, and um, that is supposed to uh, symbolize body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia, for those of you that don't know, is a, um, a, a like a body image condition where you look at yourself in the mirror and you nitpick everything, and you don't think it's good enough, you don't think, you know, it's up to par, it, it leads to a spiral, right? And, um, luckily I don't have the worst case of, you know, body dysmorphia, and I don't know. Um, sometimes it still kind of creeps back, uh, a little bit, but it really, it, it's pretty much nothing compared to what it used to be, um, when I first started lifting. Uh, you know, uh, body dysmorphia being, uh, a thing where you look at yourself in the mirror and you think, oh, it's not good enough. Bodybuilding kind of highlights that a good amount, right? A lot of people in the bodybuilding community or just people that go to the gym for um, People that just go to the gym in general. They a lot of these guys have Some case of body dysmorphia whether it's you know conditioned or not uh, most of the time it probably isn't conditioned, but um, It's just the idea of looking at yourself in the mirror 
and you know seeing your muscles and all that kind of stuff and it's like oh it's not good enough why why that is uh, a lot of it comes down to social media you see all these people in social media being yoked out being jacked and everything and you know sub subconsciously you just start comparing yourself to them um and it, it's it's a natural thing right it's a natural thing and because I, I was i was a, you know i I fall victim to that too. I look at everyone and I'm like, damn, that's that. I I wish I had that. I wish I had that. And um, a couple of proponents or a couple of examples. Uh, I look at Alex Eubank. I look at um, Ziz. I look at um, Trend Twins. I look at them and I'm like, wow. I wish I looked like them, and I used to beat myself up over it last year because I, you know, at the time I really didn't, oh, I still don't, I really don't look like them, like, body-wise, I don't, and, um, I'll get to that in a second, but last year it was, you know, I just kept, like, wow, like, do I have to get on, or no, do I have to, like, work out an extra four hours and stuff like that? No. I hope for for those of you that you know that had the same trouble as me or have the same trouble as I used to, and you know you look at social media and stuff and think, wow, these guys are much better looking than me. I hope you understand that half of these guys are like not natural, all right. So what happens is that you look at these people that aren't natural and they say that they are, you know, you you start you know, feeling bad about yourself, but as long as you understand, here's a couple of things, right, here's a couple of tips, as long as you understand that these guys aren't natural, and as long as you understand that, you know, it, you have your own body, they have their own body, um, well, that's the, the big thing is that, you know, they're, they're not natural, as long as you understand that, and, you know, you just look at them and admire them from a distance type of deal, not just obsess over the fact that you don't have that same body, as long as it's a healthy, you know, as long as you're healthily looking at them, I guess, it's fine. But if you, if you try to compare yourself and beat yourself up over it, that, that's not good, man. Just don't, all right? D whatever you're doing, just don't. Just don't. Um, after a year of, uh, a year and a half of lifting now, uh, I learned that, you know, I have my own path. They have their own path. And, you know, it's okay to look at someone that is actually natural and, or even, hell, I don't even, you know, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but point is, if you look at someone that's natural and you think, oh, that's a, you know, I'd like to have that body. I'd like to have that goal. You know, that's, that's my goal. That's okay. That's okay. Cause I, I'm, I'm at a point right now where I still have that, right? Uh, I look at someone, ex especially Alex Eubank and I'm like, Hey, I'd love to have that, you know, that's, that's a cool physique. It's, it's healthy goals, right? But, um, one thing that really did help me is just getting off of social media and not being on it as much as I used to be. I used to just constantly scroll, constantly be on social media. Now I'm just on YouTube watching documentaries sometimes. And, um, being off of it helped me out a lot because you kind of start facing reality even more. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so just stop looking at social media so much. That's that's my point. And um, really, it, it comes down to um, as long as you know you're trying, you'll be okay. And instead of comparing yourself to others, compare yourself to yourself, right? The, what I'm trying to get at, because that sounds bad, and that sounds counter, counter, and counterproductive to what I'm trying to say. Um, as long as you know that you're doing better than you were yesterday, you're making your progress. You're making progress every single day. As long as you know that, that's really at the end of the day what matters. No matter what these other, you know, people look like. As long as you're making yourself better every single day and being consistent at it, that's that's really what matters. And, you know, because you look back a year from now, two years from now, you look at yourself from two years ago being like, wow, you know, I'm glad that I made myself better every single day.
corny message, but that's what I'm trying to get at. Not comparing yourself to yourself. That's that's literally what body dysmorphia is. But um, yeah, just make yourself better every single day. As long as you're, that's another, you know, the big like encapsulating point of this whole this whole part of the video is just as long as you're making yourself or as long as you're trying right? as long as you're trying um that, that's what matters man and just be proud of yourself right you you'll look back and being like wow i am you know i'm proud of where i've i'm proud of how much progress i've made so um yeah and that's kind of where i'm at now i'm just I look at myself and I'm like, you know what? This is not a not too bad of a physique, right? This is not too bad, and you know, just and, and that's partly that's that's because I stopped looking at social media so much. I you know I made myself better every single day. I stopped comparing myself to everyone. Um, you know, it's hard, but as long as you can. As long as you understand what I'm trying to say, uh, you know, and you try to implement it, you'll be alright at the end of the day, boys. So, yeah. That, how long have we been recording? 15 minutes. That's a lot of yapping. So, alright. That's that, That's all I wanted to say. Uh, because the, the, the clip I recorded last night, that was like 40 minutes or something like that. So, um, 15 minutes isn't so bad. And it's unedited too. So, I, I, I hope I... I gave you guys all my my thoughts. I hope you guys understand. But, uh, that's it. All right. Uh, eh, turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key, and my heart is the lock. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.